Welcome to this exciting video on data literacy and data security. In today's world, data plays a crucial role in every aspect of life, from making informed decisions to driving innovations. Let's dive deep into understanding data, its significance, and how we can protect it. Data is a collection of raw facts and figures. It can be anything from numbers, text, images, or even sounds. But data alone has no meaning unless we process and analyze it to derive useful information. Data literacy is the ability to read, interpret, and communicate with data. It helps individuals make informed decisions, solve problems, and innovate. In a world driven by technology, being data literate is a must-have skill. Imagine shopping online, data literacy helps you compare prices, check product reviews, and find the best deals. Data literacy follows a structured process framework, which includes 1. Acquiring data, gathering information from surveys, interviews, and online sources. 2. Processing data, cleaning and organizing data for analysis. 3. Interpreting data, drawing meaningful insights and making data-driven decisions. Now, let's talk about data security and privacy. With the increasing use of cloud storage and online platforms, safeguarding data has become more critical than ever. Data privacy, also known as information privacy, involves handling sensitive information like personal details, financial data, and intellectual property securely. It ensures that data remains confidential and is not misused. Data security, on the other hand, is the practice of protecting digital information from unauthorized access, corruption, or theft. Cyber threats like hacking and data breaches pose serious risks. Here are some reasons why data security is crucial. 1. Cyber attacks affect individuals and organizations worldwide. 2. Rapid technological advancements increase cybersecurity threats. 3. Protecting data ensures privacy and prevents identity theft. To stay safe online, follow these do's and don'ts. Do's. 1. Use strong and unique passwords for each account. 2. Enable two-factor authentication, 2FA, for extra security. 3. Download software only from trusted sources and scan files before opening. 4. Use HTTPS colon slash slash websites for secure transactions. 5. Regularly update your browser, operating system, and antivirus. 6. Adjust social media privacy settings to control who can see your information. 7. Lock your screen when not in use. 8. Connect only with people you trust online. 9. Use secure Wi-Fi networks. 10. Report online harassment or cyberbullying to a trusted authority. Don'ts. 1. Never share personal details like your full name or phone number with strangers. 2. Avoid sending or posting private pictures online. 3. Don't open emails or attachments from unknown senders. 4. Ignore suspicious messages asking for sensitive information like bank details. 5. Keep passwords and security questions private. 6. Never download or distribute copyrighted software illegally. 7. Avoid engaging in cyberbullying or using offensive language online. Acquiring, processing, and interpreting data. Data acquisition refers to collecting data from sources like surveys, experiments, and public datasets. It includes three main steps. 1. Data discovery, finding new datasets. 2. Data augmentation, enhancing existing data by making small modifications. 3. Data generation, creating data when it is unavailable. Primary data sources include interviews, surveys, and experiments, while secondary sources come from external datasets like Kaggle, government databases, and research papers. Best practices for acquiring data. 1. Ensure data is well-structured, accurate, and relevant. 2. Use web scraping ethically and with permission. 3. Avoid bias data collection. 4. Obtain proper consent before collecting or using personal data. 5. Be transparent about data collection methods. 6. Maintain anonymity to protect individual identities. 7. Take responsibility for data handling and security. Data features and preprocessing. Data features refer to the characteristics or properties of the data. For example, in a student record, features include name, age, and grade. In an image, features could be colors, height, and width. AI models use two types of features. 1. 
Independent features, input data used for making predictions. 2. Dependent features, the output or result we aim to predict. Usability of data depends on. 1. Data structure, well-organized data improves efficiency. 2. Data cleanliness, removing inconsistencies enhances accuracy. 3. Data accuracy, reliable data leads to better decisions. Data processing and interpretation, data processing involves converting raw data into meaningful information using software and algorithms. Data interpretation, on the other hand, focuses on analyzing process data to make sense of it. Methods of data interpretation. 1. Quantitative interpretation, uses numerical data from interviews, polls, surveys, and observational studies. 2. Qualitative interpretation, involves analyzing non-numeric data through record-keeping, case studies, and focus groups. Types of data interpretation. 1. Textual, presenting data in a descriptive format, useful for small datasets. 2. Tabular, organizing data in rows and columns for better readability. 3. Graphical, using visual tools like bar graphs, pie charts, and line graphs for better comprehension. Why is data interpretation important? 1. Helps in making informed decisions. 2. Reduces costs by identifying inefficiencies. 3. Identifies trends and needs for improvement. Interactive data dashboards, data visualization tools like Tableau Mississippi Excel, or Data Wrapper can help analyze and present data effectively. For example, analyzing agricultural yield trends can help determine which crop has the highest production in a particular region. In conclusion, data literacy and security are essential in today's digital world. Understanding how to acquire, process, and interpret data enables better decision-making, while ensuring data security protects us from cyber threats. By following best practices, we can safely navigate the digital landscape and harness the power of data responsibly. Stay informed, stay secure, and embrace the power of data. Thank you for watching like, share, subscribe, comment for more videos for class 9th and class 10th.